Hello and welcome back to program with C++. Today we are going to look at conditional statement to specific the else if statement. So um, the else if statement uh, it primarily checks uh, multiple conditions and executes the corresponding block of code for the first true condition. So yeah, so let's look at this here. So. Uh, this is the syntax of the uh, else if condition. Set uh, pressed your if keyword will by the condition. If this condition is true, it's it is executed and then the others are left. I think this false. It comes to the next comes to check for the next condition here. If this condition is true, it executes this. If not, it comes to the last condition. And then any other conditions that we could you will specify. So we could have multiple we could have um, extra else if uh, and then another condition condition I would say condition at M in there. So then uh, after the condition in it's same and um, how could I'm just there let's see I would say n, I could say n, could that means there could be a, a multiple else ifs. Yeah, there could be multiple else ifs here. So they will see the condition come here. It follows yes. like that until uh, basically finds a true condition and then executes the block of code that is attached to the true condition. So um, let's get practical. Yeah. Let's get practical. So let's go to our. I didn't from the moment of click that again. Okay, so let's. I'm sorry, there I'm ashamed to work. It's gonna be close. There I go. See it. Good. Uh, I will stream. I'll play this in. Oh, okay. So um, let's look at a simple problem. So um, let's declare a variable of type. Oh, we are looking at, let me comment here. In, uh, in OK. At add else. So. Let's say you have a variable of type in Tijanus int b. Okay. So you say c out in the value and kid. Sorry. In the Tijan. Sorry, do it. Go go to zero. And nine gear. I'm going to say seal. Sir. Air. Sir. What's your name? Sorry. Say so seal again. And we can move on the seal. That's the best if. So this is an if conditional statement here. That's the seal. Basically, the else if statement combines the if, the if, uh, the if else, and then the else if statement itself. So let's say if, let's, let's look at positive negativity check for a number. So it is greater than, greater than, the, let's say, you raise your pen on there. So I'm full oh, right there. So if needs where that on its head, say C out. Then um um what's it? Cool. Then we would introduce the else if kick it. So else 
then the condition comes here. So if the uh, let's say B is less than the Z A. Yes. Let's give the condition. So it means yes does there. Let's say um C out. Get here. Yeah. She is still in pain. And come to our last the M's M's. Still, I was let's say I was C out. I will see out the number is zero because if it's not greater than or less than zero, it's definitely zero. So you see the number. So let's let's execute this map. Oh, cool. Let me see what happens. So compile and this kids. Okay, let's say that was let's say this let's say that was. And let's compile and let's see what happens. Well, there's a problem over there. Let's see what happens. And so are the same shit. Hey, died, see. And say, and I'm going to say, for king, and king, and king, and king. I'll break that. So let's get start and run. Right. Let's see. Okay, so let's enter the value six. Let's see what happens. So what happens is that it checks. We want to enter the value six, eight, six. It basically checks uh, the condition that turns out to be true, and then it executes the block of code that is attached to that condition. So enter the value. We say B six. Basically, 6 is greater than 0, so it means the number is positive. So let's try for something less than 0. Let's see. So let's check for okay, let's try. the number is. What happens is that it checks for this first condition. If the number B is greater than 0, if it's not. It doesn't execute this block of code, it comes to the next condition because this block of code is false, therefore it doesn't execute. So it comes here and it checks this is true because the number that we have here is minus five, which is less than zero. Such it executes this block of code apart to this true condition. So let's try it for zero. Let's see. We can add the zero way, which is basically uh, not greater than or less than zero itself. So let's see what happens. You see the number is zero. So this condition turns out false as it this this also turns out to false. Then it comes here. That is so. This is true here. Or this is true. And so that is um, it for the else if statement. It's a very simple. Try not more exercises. Thank you very much.